I am Dr. Zarina Aljez Khalid, Senior Consultant, Department of Women's Health, Astramed City. This month being celebrated as Cancer Awareness, Cancer Cervix Awareness and Cancer Screening for Cervical Cancer, I thought of sharing a few points about Cancer Cervix. Cancer Cervix affects millions of women all around the world. In fact, India contributes one-fourth of the share of Cancer Cervix in the world. It is the second commonest cancer in women in India and other statistics in India are like in India every year 90,000 women are affected with cancer are newly diagnosed with the cancer cervix among which 60,000 per year die due to cancer cervix and if you look at the rate around 10 women per 1 lakh women if you see 10 to 14 women are affected over 1 lakh women if you see are affected with cancer. So, it is a very important topic because, because of its high mortality, especially when it is diagnosed in a later stage. What causes cancer cervix? Cancer cervix is described as the cancer affecting the lower part of the uterus. That is what a gynecologist can see during examination. Human papilloma virus is a virus which is strongly associated with cancer cervix. HPV virus is seen in most of the sexually active women and men and it is supposed to be mainly main cause of cancer cervix. HPV virus may be of different subtypes over 150 subtypes but only few of them are, are causing cancer in women. How does it cause cancer in women? The HPV virus can affect the cancer, the cervical cells and cause changes in it which can slowly progress over to cancer. But mind you, 80% of uh, HPV virus infection solves by itself. It doesn't cause infection. Only 10% of HPV virus can progress over a period of 10 to 20 years, which is such a slow, slow progress, which can cause precancerous condition, which can go on to lead to early cancer and later on to later, later stages of cancer. What is the symptom usually a woman comes with during when she is affected with cancer cervix? In the early stages, she is totally without any symptoms. But during the later stages, she may have a foul smelling discharge in the vagina or she may have a bleeding which is not during her periods, apart from her periods. And her bleeding after sexual intercourse or a person who starts, a woman who starts bleeding after her menopausal years. And it can cause symptoms like vague abdominal pain or pelvic pain especially in the later stages and it is seen that cancer cervix is usually seen with uh, early marriages that is early sexual activity multiple sexual partners or it can be seen in poor genital hygiene in the poor social economic group and it is strongly associated also with smoking so with such a condition has to be can be diagnosed early which is called screening what is screening screening is diagnosing a condition in the precancerous stage or early cancer stage so uh, adequate treatment can be given pap smear is a test which can screen for cancer cervix at a very early stage pap smear is a simple test done in every gynecologist op and it takes it's a painless test it takes hardly two to three minutes and is available in most of the hospitals. What we do during a pap smear is we take cells from the cervical part of the uterus through a simple examination and put it in a slide and send for studies and the result takes three to five days and once we get the result the further tests can be done. Pap smear and HPV vaccine has resulted in a drastic reduction of cancer cervix in the western world over 80 percent reduction in the cancer service cases because they have an universal cancer screening program. In India, we don't have a universal cancer screening program. Mainly it is this reason and the lack of awareness among women who don't go for pap smear. People don't go for pap smear because they are scared of the result, getting a positive result, scared, shame, ashamed to go to the hospital or their lack of awareness how the test is done and sometimes the poor socio-economic condition where this is not a priority. So, pap smear has helped reducing cancer cervix drastically in the world. 
Apart from pap smear, there is a more sophisticated test called HPV DNA test, which is also available in most of the hospitals, which can diagnose HPV infection. So both pap smear and HPV put together can go a long way in preventing or detecting early cancer and preventing its progression. The patients who have get a positive results in pap smear and HPV DNA need to undergo a test called colposcopy, which is a type of microscope with which we examine and take biopsies for further treatment. Thus, with the availability of pap smear, it is universal, it is essential that every woman should undergo a pap smear between the age of 21 to 60 years, once in three years.